Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to Tinkering with Table Views. Now in this series of videos, as you've already seen, we're gonna be making a very simple shopping list application. It's gonna use a table view. You'll be able to see the items in your shopping list, and if you tap on one of them, you'll have an expanded view of what exactly you are buying, okay? So again, a very simple application, and let's go ahead and get started in making it. So this video is just gonna be creating the Xcode project and throwing on a label. Very simple stuff, nice and short. So create a new Xcode project, Again, make sure it's version 9.0 or higher. Create a new Xcode project over here. It's gonna ask us what kind of application do we wanna make. We're gonna go ahead and make a single view application like before. Now for our product name, I'm gonna go ahead and call this shopping list, one word. You can go ahead and call it whatever you want, maybe agenda, maybe to-do list. Your team name, again, if you have a developer account, it should be your developer account. Otherwise, just go ahead and keep it as none. Organization name is, if you have a company or a brand, you can put your, put your brand name over here. Otherwise, your first name will work, so it should be Avinash, and then your organization identifier would be com.avinash, okay? Our language, again, is Swift, and then keep these the same, so don't select use core data and include the two tests. Fantastic job. Now it's gonna ask us where do we wanna save it. Again, I have a code folder, so go ahead and save it there. It makes it very easy while creating projects using GitHub, stuff like that. All right, fantastic. So now we've created our Xcode project. We've started shopping list. Now over here, all I'm gonna do is just to get us, get ourselves started, I'm gonna go ahead and add a label to our view. So I'm gonna go ahead and in our objects pane, again, right hand side of the screen, we have our objects. I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop a label. I'm gonna make it to the top. I'm gonna go ahead and expand it to go to both of the edges and make it just a bit bigger. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of design. I'm gonna go ahead and make the shopping list and I'll increase the font size just a bit. Fantastic. So hit enter, now we have shopping list. That's fantastic. Now, that's it for this lecture guys. We just created our Xcode project. We added a simple label. In the next few videos, we'll understand how table views work, why we use table views and adding our own table view to our shopping list application. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.